hey everyone welcome back to our farmland channel today we are diving deep into the delicious world of strawberries we'll explore everything from growing these juicy red gems to harvesting them and finally the process they grow through before reaching your table so grab a snack sit back and let's get it started Strawberries are not just a summertime treat. They're packed with vitamin, antioxidants, and fiber, making them both delicious and nutritious. But have you ever wondered how these beautiful berries make their journey from the field to your fridge? Let's start with the basics of growing strawberries. Strawberries are a perennial plant, meaning they can produce fruit year after year. There are three main types of strawberries June bearing, ever bearing, and dry neutral. Each type has its own growing season and characteristics. June bearing strawberries produce one large crop in late spring to early summer. Ever bearing strawberries have two main harvests one in early summer and one in fall. Dry neutral strawberries can produce fruit throughout the growing season as long as temperatures are favorable. To grow strawberries, farmers start by preparing the soil. Strawberries thrive in well drained sandy loam soil with a pH between 5.5 and 6.5. They also need plenty of sunlight. Farmers plant strawberry runners. These are large streams that produce new plants in rows, making sure to space them out to allow for air circulation and prevent disease. Watering is crucial especially during the flowering and fruiting stage. Drip irrigation is often used to ensure consistent moisture levels without wetting the foliage, which can lead to fungal diseases. Mulching with straw or plastics helps remain moisture and keep the weeds at bay. Strawberries rely on bees for pollination. Without bees, the flower won't develop into those juicy berries we love. Once pollinated, it takes about 4-6 to six weeks for the flowers to turn into ripe strawberries. Harvesting strawberries is a delicate process. They needed to pick at the peak of ripeness because they don't ripen after being picked. Which means farmers have to carefully check each berry for the perfect color and size. Strawberries are typically harvested by hand to avoid bruising. Harvesters use a special baskets or trays to collect the berries, which are then transported to the packaging area as quickly as possible to maintain freshness. At the packaging area, strawberries are sorted and graded. The best quality berries, free from blemishes and damage, are packed for fresh markets. The others might be sent to processing into products like jams, jellies or frozen berries. Once harvested, strawberries grow through various processes depending on their final destination. Fresh strawberries are quickly cooled to extend their shelf life. They are washed, sorted and packed into containers ready for shipment. For processed products, strawberries might be frozen, dried or turned into puris and juices. Let's take a close look at how some of these products are made. Making a strawberry jam, start with the cleaning and howling the strawberries. They are then cooked with sugar and pectin, 
which help the jam set. Once the mixture reaches the right consistency, it's poured into a sterilized jar and sealed. The jar are then heated into water bath to ensure they are properly preserved. For frozen strawberries, the berries are first washed and hauled. They are then placed on trays and frozen individually to prevent them from sticking together. After freezing, they are packed into bags or containers and stored at very low temperature to maintain their quality. These processed strawberries are used in variety of products from smoothies and baked goods to cereal and snacks. Next time you are enjoy something strawberry flavor, you will know a bit more about a journey those berries took to get to you. Strawberries have been enjoyed since Roman times. They are native to North and South America and European settlers brought them back to the old world. There are a strawberry festival held around the world, celebrating this beloved fruit with everything from favorites to pie eating contest. And did you know there are over 600 varieties of strawberries? Each one has its own unique flavor, size and growing characteristics. So, there you have it, the fascinating journey of strawberries from the field to your plate. Whether you enjoy them fresh, in a jam, or as a part of a delicious dessert, the strawberries are fruit worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. And let us know in the comments what's your favorite way to enjoy strawberries. Until next time, goodbye.